How to download Stable Diffusion AI 2022 easy and fast. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and having an amazing day. I bring you back with another how to video and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can download Stable Diffusion AI on your system. So, first of all, let me tell you what Stable Diffusion really is. Stable Diffusion is this amazing program that lets you create any type of AI you want, any type of character, animation, AI, whatever you like, and uh, it just helps you create the greatest art that you can find online and then you can use it in your NFTs or in your products, whatever you like. So without further ado, let's get right into it. What we're going to need to do is we're going to go to github.com. Now, once we're on github.com, we're going to need to sign up and everything. And once we've done that, we're going to go to get for windows.org. Now, once we do that, we're just going to click on download. Now, once we click on download, we're going to go ahead into our downloads and we're going to go and run the setup. Now, once we run the setup file, I'm going to take you through on what you need to do and what you don't need to do. So you're just going to click on next. Now over here, this is going to be ticked for you. It says Windows Explorer integration. We don't need this. So we're just going to untick it and we're going to click on next, next, next. In these, you don't really need to change anything. You're just going to go on next and keep it on your default settings. And uh, once all of that is done, I've already downloaded it, so I don't need it. So once all of that is done, what you're going to need to do is uh, you're going to go on your C drive and over here, you're going to create a new folder by any name. For example, just give it a name AI and remember to just create it outside in your main C folder. Now, once you've done that, so once you've done all that, what you're going to do is you're going to launch your Git bash. Now, Here's your Git bash. It's going to give you this nice interface. There you go. So what you're going to do is now write CD space. We're going to minimize Git bash. We're going to go click on AI and we're just going to go and copy this. What this will do is it will copy this folder's address and we're going to go to Git bash. We're going to right click paste. Now, once we've done that, we're just going to click on enter and that's one step done. Now what we need to do is so now what we're going to do is we're going to write git space clone space. Now we're going to copy a link from another website. I'm going to show you right now. We're going to go on our browser and we're going to go on github.com slash automatic quadruple one all in capital slash stable dash diffusion dash web UI. And here's going to be this green button over here, which says code. You're going to click on that and you're going to copy this HTTPS code. What this is, is this is the Sable Diffusion web UI that you need to create your different arts. So you're just going to go back and you're going to click on paste. Once you do that, you click on enter. It's going to take a short while. So once you write the correct code, what you're going to need to do is just going to click on enter. And once you do that, it says cloning into Stable Diffusion web UI. And what this does, it clones the code of this website to your folder that you created on AI. Now it's just going to take a few moments. So we're just going to let that load up. It's not going to take long. As you can see, it's already, and you know what? It's just done. It's a hundred percent done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go on this website, huggingface.co slash comp with slash stable diffusion. We want for original. So here you're going to download the main CK PT file for stable diffusion. So what you're going to do here is you're going to sign up. And once you sign up, you're going to come down here and here where it says download the weights, you're going to click on sd-v1-4.ckpt. And once you click on that, you're going to go straight to the downloads and it's around a four gigabyte download. So it's big. So it's going to take some time. And once that is done, one final thing you need to download is Python because Python's the language that Stable Diffusion understands. So you're just going to come down here and you're going to download any type that is for your system. So you can download it for Mac. You can download it for any other software. Mine is Windows 64 bit. So I'm just going to install this. And once I've done all that, I'm just going to put everything in one folder. And when you put everything in one folder, which is AI, you can easily run your stable diffusion as everything has been set up. So that is how easy it is to download stable diffusion and run it on your system. Now, remember, you may need a strong system for this because stable diffusion does require a good GPU and a good strong system or else your system might lag. 
and yeah that's about it i hope this video was helpful to you and if you have any more suggestions or questions you can let me know down in the comments below and yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna see you next time goodbye